Hi, this is Greg Kung, and welcome to the Online Video Production Academy. In this video lesson, I'm going to teach you how to install and set up Magic Lantern for your Canon SLR cameras. For those of you not familiar with Magic Lantern, it's a third-party software uh, built for the Canon SLRs to optimize it for recording video. That being said, I've actually took a long time to think about actually installing Magic Lantern. I heard that Magic Lantern actually changes the firmware, which is the factory's um, hard-coded programming. So, I mean, that sounds pretty bad. But uh, I had a recent video shoot, uh, which was an interview. And for this interview, I needed to record with two cameras continuously and uh, it was an hour long shoot so I couldn't afford to uh, keep on pressing record which you have to do if you're using these Canon SLR cameras out of the factory because of a recording limit. The Canon 60s approximately uh, has a 20 minute recording limit. The Canon 70 is about 12 minutes so I absolutely needed to install Magic Lantern. And uh, there are other some great benefits uh, if you're recording video on these SLRs. It really helps you get the most out of the camera. So I wanted to record this video just to demystify Magic Lantern and make it as simple as possible. So let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is uh, I've taken an SLR camera, which is over here. I have my 6D and I have an SD card over, um, it's in my laptop. And you need to pop over to the Magic Lantern site. You need to make sure that you already have your uh, Canon 60 or 70 or whatever Canon SLR you're using. You wanna make sure that the firmware's uh, the current version. And the way you can do that is by going to Magic Lantern site to check the required firmware. After that, you'll need to download some files uh, Magic Lantern files and that's where we're gonna start this tutorial okay let's get started okay so I have the SD card in and I formatted it okay you want to make sure that you just have DCIM and the MISC folder on your memory card empty your trash just to make sure that file is cleared and I'm gonna pull up another finder window. I like to do that so I can see uh, two screens, one with my memory card and then the second of the files I'm looking for. So I'm gonna select autoexec.bin, the ml folder and the ml setup.fur, paste those into the memory card all right, that is done. I'm going to eject the memory card. And now I'm going to pop it into the uh, Canon 6D. Okay, once you've got the Magic Lantern files on your card, pop it in your camera. And then we're going to turn it on. Camera is not shut down cleanly. Okay, there we go. So once you have Magic Lantern installed, pop the card in. And then we're gonna go over to the firmware menu. If you go to the wrench on the right. And then hit OK to update the firmware. You're gonna get some messages saying that Magic Lantern's installing. All right, once you get the message to restart your camera, turn it off and then pop the battery out. And then turn it back on. Okay, so to access the Magic Lantern menu, you press the garbage can. And what I'm gonna do is try to 
go through some of the essential features that I think will be useful to you. Also, some of the features that I use. So first thing off, you can use the joystick to navigate the menu. I found it a little bit confusing at first. There's also a different menu view if you click Info. Actually, no, sorry, it's Menu. So click Garbage Can, then Menu. And there you have another menu you can look at, or another menu view. All right. So the features I use are Magic Zoom. I turn most of these other features off, like Zebras, Focus Peak. The only one I have on is Magic Zoom. If you notice a little Q there, you can press the Q button if you're fast enough to access a deeper menu level. Okay. And then Magic Zoom is going to allow me to zoom in while I'm recording. Next, I want to go over to Movie Tweaks. And you want to select Movie Restart On. When you install Magic Lantern, it's going to let you record up to 30 minutes. By having Movie Restart On, it's going to automatically record. One of the uh, cons of using Movie Restart is that it'll just keep restarting once you're recording, even if you're recording a short video clip. So that's just a little bug, something for you to know. Now the intervalometer, this is not related to video, but this is, uh, think of it as time-lapse mode. If you set this up, you don't need to have that remote control with the transmitter on top of your hot shoe. You can set this up so it'll take a time lapse straight out of the camera. So pretty cool. I'll demo that feature after I've gone through the menu. All right, I believe that's all I'm setting up. So to check what you've set up, you can go all the way to the right. You can see I've set up Magic Zoom and the Movie Restart. And Intervalometer is off. Now I'm going to turn it on. So what it's going to do is take photos every so often depending on how I set it up. So let's set it up. I'm going to hit Q. I want it to take a picture every three seconds. Okay. So I press the garbage can to get out of the menu and then it's going to start taking photos every three seconds. So this is a nice feature. You don't have to use the remote control and the transmitter to take a time lapse. Just one of the many benefits of using Magic Lantern. All right, so now I want to pop out of that. Okay. Stop it. Okay, you have to hit the garbage can to get that off. And now you can see the Magic Lantern menu for video. So when you're in video mode, you've got the audio meters, temperature, the frame rate, uh, memory card capacity. Uh, this is the focal length, aperture, shutter speed, your ISO, your white balance temperature, manual autofocus, and your battery life. If you want to toggle between the camera, Canon menu, you can press info, and then you get back to the regular view. Uh, so you can actually record and you can toggle back and forth between the Magic Lantern view and Canon view. I like to have the Magic Lantern view because it gives you a lot more information. Just be careful not to press up or down because that's going to change the color temperature while you're recording. I've actually made this mistake before and if you do make the mistake you have to go back to the white balance, set it back to the original setting, which is auto white balance or your custom white balance. You can change the ISO from here. And you can also zoom in, which I'll demo a bit further, but you can zoom in while you're actually recording. And this is called the magic zoom feature. Right. So that's uh, the basics of Magic Lantern. 
and like I said, the main reason why I installed it was to overcome the recording limit, but you get all these other benefits that come along with it. You just have to remember uh, to install the files, and something I wasn't sure about was uh, what happens to the actual video files alongside Magic Lantern. Well, it's going to create, the memory card is going to create the usual folders, the DCIM folder where all your media files are going to sit and the Magic Lantern files are just going to stay on there. Now if you decide the format, you can uh, actually watch what happens. And so there's an option here that says format card keep ML. So if I format, it's going to keep a Magic Lantern on there and it's going to keep uh, it's going to erase the files. If I want to erase Magic Lantern and the media, I press Q and it's going to change format card, remove ML. I want to keep it, so I'm just going to change it back. All right, and I can hit OK and it's going to go through its thing, Magic Lantern restored, it's still on there. Okay, so those are some essential features to get you started using Magic Lantern.